Okay, December 6, 2023. I'm down here near the Minnehaha Dog Park System, which is right below. This is a steep cliff. The cave is below here. And uh, I'm not going to go near this edge. Once I fall, gravity will make sure I finish falling down the rest of the way. So I don't feel like getting hurt again in this area. But I thought I'd stop up here on top and make a video. I'm trying to make sure this is on. It's a new camera, so... Okay, hopefully this is this is on. I switched the screen around. I don't see that record uh, button that's usually that's lit when I record a video. Got two red red-headed woodpeckers here. You might see those woodpeckers flying around. This is supposed to be an important video for me, and uh, I'm going to mention it again. I'm not going to discuss too much like I did before. I made a video about this uh, prophetic dream that I had uh, numerous times the past years or so. I've been having very powerful spiritual dreams, and. Uh, I really had one that was so powerful, I can't forget it, I can't shake the feeling that I've had since I've had the dream, and, uh, and uh, this uh, part of the Bible describes my situation. Uh, I've been having these dreams off and on, but there was a really powerful one I'm going to discuss right now that was already discussed before, but I need to add some information to that that I didn't disclose. But this part of the Bible is an Acts. I can't remember which, uh, 17. And this pertains to me. Um, and it shall come to pass in the last days, says God, that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Young men shall see visions and old men old men shall dream dreams and this appears or is directly connected to me so that dream is a uh, a dream I can't shake I feel I need to talk some more about it it's in my videos on YouTube uh, I'll go to the beginning of what I was trying to discuss on that dream uh, and kind of briefly push you through it the location I was at during this dream, I don't know how I know this, but a lot of things that were known to me, uh, not directly fit by verbal, but by the uh, what was in this underground chamber near the Temple Mount in Israel. The dream was uh, starting where I, I, I could see many angels around me. I'm not sure how many, but there was quite a bit of, of angels in, in the area that I was in. And there was also another force. I wish I knew guys how to tell the difference between the Son of God being uh, in the same area there or the God itself. They both have this overwhelming feeling that I couldn't handle. I felt so unworthy about being in this location. But they were giving me, given to me uh, information tidbits about uh, uh, the second coming of Christ and was Christ in that room in the sure of God but it was a very powerful force and it was so powerful that in that dream I could not stand on my feet I had to spread myself out in front feeling so unworthy and overwhelmed I couldn't stand to look directly at what was in this cave but these angels 
if it's them that told me this, uh, they were telling me that about the second, uh, the Antichrist is over here. Parts of the temple that's being built for the return of Christ was being assembled in this cave area. Important pieces to this temple. So when the time comes to build it, they'll be able to put, build it at a quicker pace than if they were to try to assemble this outside this uh, cave. But in this cave, should I say cave or chamber, underground chamber, this is the most powerful thing for me. There was something in that chamber that I really felt so overwhelmed that I couldn't really even look at it, but I knew that it was the um, Ark of the Covenant. So, I'll show you. Most people know of the Ark of the Covenant. This was in that chamber. And after all that was directed to me, all that was told to me about the uh, second coming of Christ, which is so much around the corner, it could happen right now. It's going to happen in our lifetime, in the next year or two, some major things are happening now. And uh, but I didn't tell anybody about that dream that it was important, I was afraid to, but I don't care about it now. I'm gonna, I don't care if people believe me, but it was shown and noted towards me about the location of this, of this Ark of the Covenant. I know the location. I can, I can only say that if I could go over there right now, like a homing beacon, I can go right to the spot. So I know where it's at. I'm not gonna discuss too much more on that, but to know that kind of information, given the nature of uh, uh, that relic, the Ark of the Covenant people know how powerful that is. Moses used it to store the Ten Commandments. There could have been manna in there and also Aaron's rod and other important spiritual items. But that was being stored down in that uh, chamber that I was in, uh, sort of like a staging area for when the time comes. When the temple is built right away, they can bring this up and it'll be a part of that temple. So I have knowledge, I really do, and I'm not sure if people are going to believe me, but I don't care. I just had to get this out of my system. If I were to go over there right now, I can direct anybody to that location. And uh, of course, that location would mean trying to get down underground from that location. But I know exactly where this ark is being stored in this chamber, where that chamber is located. And um, I gotta find a way to get over there after all that complex stuff. Right now it's a little hostile over there right now. But you're looking at probably one of the very few people that have knowledge of the location of the Ark of the Covenant and I know where it's at. I know where it's at. But I'd be afraid to go down into that chamber physically like I am now. Just to look at it I feel like it's so powerful it might kill me just the sight of it. they are talking about people that, that die when they actually touch it and go close to it. But I know where it's at. I know the location of this chamber and I'm gonna have to uh, look more into this and give you guys more information. Maybe I'll use Google Earth and show you the uh, location that I have been told it is in. And it, I've been given the sensational power to, to be able to walk right up to that area and know where it's at. And what better person to give this knowledge to? Uh, they know that the angels know and God knows and Jesus knows that nobody's going to believe me. But knowing that that ark is there is giving me more power and inspiration to follow my spiritual path that I'm on. I'm still having difficulties in focusing uh, given the nature of man and the way society is around the world. 
there's so much bad in our in our environment and in our world and around, around us every day it's hard to focus on the good stuff which is the return of Christ and like I said well in that chamber I was given knowledge that the Antichrist was here already and that the there's important pieces to this temple that are being assembled here so when the time comes to actually build this thing quickly they can take these important pieces and uh, in integrate them into the temple when they build it. And that could be the uh, the platform or the the piece of the temple where the Ark of the Covenant is going to sit on top. And uh, I just had to mention that. This is my This is my first time using this new camera, so I hope everything is coming out. I'm going to try to figure out this wireless mic. It doesn't seem to be working. And uh, we'll be making more important videos concerning a lot of things. Well, this is a majestic place to stand here and just look at nature. A steep cliff down here goes to the dog park system, where I have the haunted cave in El Cold Springs. I'll be making more videos again soon. I just wanted to come out and test this camera to show people that I have something new. And I hope the quality level is good. I can adjust it for a higher quality level. And I'm still tinkering around with all these uh, things on the camera and trying to figure out what's what and so forth and so on. So December 6th, 2023. Uh, it's in the 40s. It's supposed to be in the 50s tomorrow. I'm taking advantage of this nice day today to make this video and discuss that uh, that dream I had. The spiritual force that was in that cavern, I couldn't, I still can't describe to you guys how overwhelming that was. I just know that I, I, I had to lay flat on my stomach having what was presented to me around this chamber area that I was in. Why was I given this information? I know I'm trying to uh, follow the spiritual path of mine and increase my strength in spiritual matters. And there's something happening that I think I could use that would be helpful to God and Christ. I'm having what I feel is a power of the Holy Spirit that is starting to overwhelm me and pickle me to the core of my being and people are actually noticing this change in me when I'm out in public. People are coming up to me and I gotta start using this to help the Lord Jesus give me information to give to these people about what's coming and they need to prepare for this second coming before the rapture. So I, I am going to start using that I'm describe it as a powerful spiritual force that's been getting stronger inside me. Uh, people can notice it when they come up to me. I mean, I'm having dogs come up to me and sit next to me. I'm having all kinds of unusual things happening in nature and around me every day in life. So, this video was about that dream I had. I'm not, I didn't want to discuss too much about it. You're, I already made a video. But that information I wanted to explain and now, and I don't care if people believe me, but I've been given the location of the Ark of the Covenant. I know where it is. If I can get over there, I can, like a sonar or a beacon, I can go right up to that spot and let people know where it's at. But maybe having that knowledge and knowing, and God or Christ may not want the knowledge given to people about the location of this ark. So they knew by disclosing it to me that nobody's going to believe me. <laughs> what can I do? The best I could do is come out with this camera and talk to people. This is a very peaceful spot. I never knew this was here. You can see this is the top of the ridge above that cave area, which is right down here. And that's the dog park system down there. The Cold Springs will be over in that area in the alcove.
and just a quick tidbit of information I want to add to this video. I've been told something about my um, investigations down here and the, the things that are coming through on my ghost staff. I never knew uh, demonic or powerful negative entities or whatever is in the spiritual realm that's not uh, happy with Christ coming gave me some information and I didn't know they had the power to do this but I had a, uh, a message come across my ghost app saying uh, accident breathing or breathing problems and it wasn't too long after that I got in that traffic accident and I couldn't breathe my chest was still sore from the impact of the seat belt and a fractured rib I was sitting in my truck feeling full of smoke and I don't remember the impact thinking this is how a person dies in a traffic accident. I'm not, I can't get out the door and pain. Oh, so I kind of panicked and tried to crawl out the passenger side. Now, I didn't know entities or, or, or whatever it is, is out here that people are, are having contact with, demons, negative entities, uh, elementals, uh, shapeshifters. There's just so much of a smorgasbord of bad things out here when you investigate paranormal research. So did they have that power to do that? It's kind of scary thinking that they they had that power. So I got to be careful too when I'm out here. Otherwise, it's a beautiful day. See the sun's over my shoulder. I hold the sun in my hand. There we go. I got it. Just testing my new camera and giving you guys this information. This video may take a while to download. It's been going on uh, 18 minutes, I think. So this is the test of my new camera. I'll figure out the uh, wireless mic problem. Right now, it, it's picking up my voice now because the mic's not hooked up. But uh, we'll figure it out later. December 6, 2023, above the haunted cave area and dog park system, discussing about my new camera and that prophetic dream. There's a part of that m dream that I never mentioned to people that I, I mentioned right now, and people aren't going to believe me about it anyway, so I don't, I ain't much I could do. I just felt good about being able to explain what I experienced. Very powerful dream.